hey guys welcome to my channel thank you for watching and if you're the first time into my channel uh thank you so much for 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 so to click into this channel and um while you're there please press the subscribe button um and press the notification button so you can always notify you when i post my next my post my next video and also um my video is very diverse it doesn't talk about one topic it talk about me, my journey of different things i'm i'm interested in sometimes it's um life relationship food um <clears throat> food things and um and and other things like that so today video says um i'm really big into tech and also have a tech black um i, I want to um watch a video about the new tesla uh, uh Cy it called cyber truck uh, I'm gonna watch a video and then we're gonna do a review together to see what what you think about them um, what, what what you think about that. Um, so go ahead and um, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my earplug then because I want you guys to be able to hear it. How it goes by. Let's click again. So, so recently Elon Musk coming out with a new truck. Um, he said that previously that it's gonna be nothing out of the norm, normal, and he really, um, he really um, come out true. So the new truck called um, the Cyber Truck, and uh, it's something crazy. Let's hear. Uh, let me actually let me go back. Let me go back. Yeah. Created an exoskeleton. So, boom! It hit it. So the truck have a stainless steel. It like it, it, it look like a, a a spaceship on wheel. So it's supposed to be like the the it's supposed to be like something that normal. It's supposed to have like look like metal and. That's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. You hear that? So it's it's, it's ultra hard, cold rolled. Uh, stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're going to be using the stainless same alloy steel in, in the Starship and bulletproof and in the Cybertruck. Cyber, of course, uh, Cybertruck. The glass demo. And doing a demo. So first, first, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. And, and the glass is supposed to be like bulletproof, glass. man. It's amazing. Oh, wow, wow. I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. They, they. Uh, they're standing the, he's standing so high and Bro, dropped the glass. glass wow please. okay now that's crazy he's gonna throw the glass the the, the metal the metal um ball at, at it yeah. like let me see if it's gonna shatter sure yeah oh <laughs> well maybe that was a little too hard <laughs> <laughs> okay so and then it didn't go through, but at least it, 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 it shot her. Kind of like when you hit it with a bullet gun. They're going to try again. Let's see. It didn't go through. Let's, so that's, that's <laughs> Let's try the right. Try that on, really? Okay. I guess he's so. not going to try hard. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Go oh, man. Yeah. Well, at least it didn't go through. All right. <laughs> man, but like I said, that thing looked like a spaceship. Like a feature, like I said, Elon Musk, perfect. man, he's not playing. His car is nothing into hey, normal. In the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. The rear is 100 cubic feet, mm -hmm. six and a half foot uh, length, bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload. Wow, it, it looks very heavy because it's like like a big old so metal box. The performance kind of look like a transformer, to be exact. Wow. Look at the performance, how long it can go before it get recharged. Of off-road performance, it's going to have the best uh, angular approach angle, best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that really uh, go off-road, this is going to be great. You could basically do the Baja Rally thing. Yeah, it look really, it stand really high. So if you're somebody who like going to the desert or somebody ranges. like going on a mountain hiking with truck, so this one will definitely work for you. Uh, be capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Wow. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. Mm -hmm. um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. 
Seven, uh, uh, yeah. That's good, that's good. We're going to all that. Okay. On board air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Of course, that's good. It got autopilot. Of course, that's a Tesla. And then it's going to. Wow! Wow! This thing start at thirty nine thousand or forty thousand dollars. That is less expensive than uh, uh, some some Dodge Dodge Charger, um, some Ford F one fifty. Oh, it got a surprise for us. One more thing. Let me see what he's gonna come out with. Oh my God! I want one of those. I want one of those. A ATV Tesla bike. Oh my freaking god, I need one of those. You know, like uh, you can got a bike, an electronic bike. I know some people are already gonna try to make it, but to actually event, look, the truck is so big, like for people who like going in a mountain, uh, you can put it in the back of the truck, it fit, it fit it. And if that's, and you know, uh, ATV is like four wheeler, so it fit it. If it can fit an ATV, that means it can fit a two dirt bike. You can drop real and it can recharge the ATV oh, in it. So my thing is, I know most people are gonna it is like, it doesn't go too to detail rent. about the ATV uh, a a bike, but bike, when can I buy one? When can I buy one? Because you know everybody love the bike, man. Man, you can yes. see how oh, heavy those okay. look. Okay. And it's 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 current it's it's currently plugged in and charging. All right. There it is. There it is. Oh man. Okay. So yeah. Um, man, that was amazing. The new Tesla truck, man. It it looked like a spaceship on wheel. It have um, of course, it come with um, it get to get recharged. It doesn't look like the original Tesla, and also um, it's supposed to be um, bulletproof. But like you can see, the glass wasn't wasn't that great. But like I said, this is a, a prototype. It's not there. One thing I can see in the front, it didn't have a windshield, so we're gonna know we're gonna how they're gonna shield. And also, um, as I go uh, to detail, I saw a second part of the video. It have um inside is six is six is six is six for six people. So because they don't have in the middle a, a, a middle stand wheel. It, it was able to add another sitting in the middle of it, so the front can add three people, and the back seat can add three people. So that's the total of six people. Plus, um, I think it have a a, ca a camera mirror. So basically, um, I think in the back of the truck, uh, they probably have two one or one or two camera where if you back up from your mirror, where you're supposed to look at the back. Um, I guess because it's so far, you can actually look at the back from to your to um. Uh, auto visor, auto visor, yeah. So it's a, instead of um instead of um um uh, instead of uh, 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 the auto visor look through the to the we uh, windshield, but the way they design it, so they, I guess they decided to put a camera to uh, connect it to the back, just like when you have a, a regular car nowadays, when you put your car in the back and you in your 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 auto visor, uh, your look your, your your radio turned into a camera. So instead of the like, radio area or uh, big screen turned into a but your auto visor from the top and turn and is a, is is a camera uh, screen also, which is totally amazing. And also, what it, it, it come with is is super super fast. It's a faster is the fastest uh, electronic truck that ever been built, which is awesome. And it's so it's so powerful that um they they say it can pull up any uh, truck that is out there, which is a Dodge. For the for the uh, at 150 or 250 or 350, um, it can um, well when they was putting it 150, I don't know how many uh what is a person in a truck, uh so if, I guess if you if you somebody um uh, driving a truck and they got stuck in the road and because the car is so high you can like um stick something away and then it can you can pull the truck behind you which is um great and and and. I know most people who are gonna buy this car is gonna be for like people who like going to the mountain, and but I don't think nobody who's in who's in the construction business is gonna buy it yet. But I can see like say um, five ten years from now they might use it because because if for for heavy duty 
Um, but the only thing is, it's like it's, even though it start at forty thousand, that's just basic. Basically, it's like just like you got a Lexus, you got a basic standard, and you got a fully loaded. Which is fully loaded? That's why very important in a car because that's why I allow it to do the self drive. Uh, I guess it, you can still do it a little bit with the with a, uh, the self driving thing, but there's other thing that allow it to 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 do with it with the, when you add extra uh, extra loaded um um thing into it. So it started around like um thirty nine nine hundred, which is almost. For a thousand uh, forty thousand dollars, but one thing um they did not uh, say is um they didn't have a, a release date, but he did say you can pre-order, and we know if you people who follow Tesla for a while will know that um um most of the time um um Elon Musk doesn't 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 um doesn't doesn't really stay to the to the due date so i'm glad that's what it is i'm glad kind of uh, in some way uh glad he didn't talk about um the release date because most of the time when he gave the release date he, did, he didn't meet he didn't meet the um, he didn't meet the schedule i forgot the word i'm looking for like i said a lot of time i, I, I forgot word but yes a lot of time he'll give a, a date of <clears throat> when a, a, a car is supposed to come out, when um when a, a car is supposed to be, uh, uh, how much car is supposed to be coming out of, um, and then it doesn't happen. So um, I'm glad this time you, you can pre-order it, but he didn't give a time because, like I said, that is a, a, a totally different type of car as a totally from whatever it is. So they probably gonna have to build a whole new facility uh, for that for that for that car itself. So I'm hoping maybe it will come out by next year, 2020, but I probably doubt it. I probably think this kind of car, the way it is, and uh, with, with the glasses thing and everything so expensive, I don't see it coming out till 2021, 2022. All right, guys, this is was my review about the new Tesla truck, cyber truck. Definitely look like a, 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 a spaceship. Um, what you think about it? You think it's something you you, you are you ready to you you ready to buy? And if you got the money uh, right now, and um, leave your comment below. Um, until next time, guys. Like I said, I'm in. I'm gonna start to do different thing. Um, uh, some little technology um review. Um, I know most of them. If you want to see review, sometimes I add it to my other channel, which is um uh, bourgeois tech b o u r j u a t e c h. Um, it's mostly technologies. Uh, it's different from my Instagram page, um, but like, please uh, check the other channel out and uh, please like and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.